collapse of uh, two U.S. banks, U.S. Central Bank raises interest rates again to curb inflation. The Federal Reserve increased its key rate by 25 basis points in order to curb inflation in the U.S. And uh, amid a collapse of two U.S. banks, U.S. central bank raises interest rates again uh, to curb inflation. Now the Federal Reserve has increased its key rate by 25 basis points in order to curb inflation in the U.S. So amid uh, U.S. banking turmoil, U.S. central bank raises interest rates, Federal Reserve hikes key rate by 0.25%. In fact, uh, amid a collapse of the U two U.S. banks, the U.S. central bank has raised interest rates again to curb inflation. The Federal Reserve has increased its key rate by 25 basis points. This in order to curb inflation in the U.S. All right, going straight across to my colleague uh, Anisha for more on this. Uh, Anisha, over to you. The Fed did manage to raise the uh, you know, rates by 25 basis points, but the commentary was a bit more hawkish than what the street was prepared for. And that's the reason Dow ended almost 700 points off the highest point of the trading session. Even if you look at the Nasdaq, it was 3 percentage off than the highest point that we saw on an intraday basis. And that is because the commentary from the Fed uh, talked about that they're going to focus on inflation, reigning in inflation, rather than looking at the systemic risk which is happening as far as the U.S. banking system is concerned. In fact, on the U.S. banking system, Fetcher Jerome Powell sounded fairly confident, saying that the health of the financial system is quite strong and the banking system in the U.S. is very resilient. And for now, the depositors don't need to be concerned about their deposits into the banks, which has become a bit of a controversial issue after the statements came in from Janet Yellen, who, uh, who said that there is no talk of guaranteeing all the deposits. And that's the reason that you saw a bit of a negative impact as well. Separately, as far as Fetcher uh, commentary is concerned, he completely ruled out the possibility of any rate cut happening in the second half of this year. Now, remember, this was again widely anticipated that given the kind of a tightening that we are seeing in the system, the Fed might hint that there might be rate cuts coming at least in uh, you know, calendar year 23. That's not going to happen. In fact, they hinted that there is going to be another rate hike of 25 basis point. And they clearly said that we'll take as many rate hikes as possible to rein in inflation and they're very committed to come down to that 2% mark. Uh, on the economic data front, there weren't big changes when it comes to the projections going forward, but the Fed Chair did point out to the fact that uh, the data is coming in still stronger than what they expected. So it's going to be a bumpy ride going forward as well to rein in inflation. And for now, the Fed doesn't is clearly not blinking at the moment. They continue to be on the target to reduce the inflation and hike the interest rates. Right, Anisha, many thanks for joining us with all those details.